Tonight, we unveil a special report, a year in the making, 37%. That's been the graduation rate at Hempstead High School. It's one of the lowest in the nation. Chaos and dysfunction had been a way of life there, but recently the district was offered a fresh start. How did things go? CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff dug deep. She joins us with a highlight of the full documentary, which you can catch now on CBSNewYork.com. Carolyn. That's right, Dick and Christine. Good evening. Things did not go at all as planned, and that is part of what makes 37% so compelling and at times shocking. One year ago, an accomplished educator was hired to turn things around. We decided to follow his path for better or for worse and document it all. None of you sit in the classroom. You have no idea how scary it is. I don't have any classes, nothing. So you've been coming to school and doing what? Nothing. Corruption. I believe that's the heart. It's been going on for 30 years. Why are there no textbooks, no workbooks, no curriculum guides? We are not going to do business as usual as they used to be here in Hempstead High School. A Hasidic Jew is not somebody you're going to find, you know, in Hempstead. And the children will be my, like my children. Who negotiated the contract of the Hempstead's troubles go back decades, but our journey began with the surprising hiring a year ago of this man, Dr. Shimon Warrenker, Harvard educated and deeply religious. He was brought in by a deeply divided school board to fix the district. Whether you know you you like me or not. My success is the children's success. But instead of a clear path to success, he was stepping into a cauldron of opposing forces. They had one goal in mind, and that was to rip this district. Yes! That is the agenda that have brought in the new leadership. For a whole year, we watched bitter infighting play out in public. We need a plan from you. You've done nothing since you've been here. You can't agree between each other. I don't know why that is. If you can't agree with each other, then how are you going to help us, the students? And stunning allegations mixed with moments like this one, a student melee, allegedly set up for political reasons. Welcome to Hempstead. Welcome to Hempstead High School. Come, let's go. It's painful to see something like this happen. You know, this is not the way a school should be. I remember thinking it was a little odd. I said to Dr. Warnocker, something's not right. It was a setup. A student told one of the high school administrators that there was going to be a fight, seventh period, and that's when I knew the whole thing was staged. People in power are more concerned with maintaining those positions of power than they are concerned with serving the needs of students. Well, it's a story of good intentions gone awry. So why was change not welcomed and embraced? That's what we wanted to know and why we took a very deep dive into an issue that impacts nearly 8,000 students every year. So 37% graduation rate, is that unusual? That's what we really wanted to know, and we looked at the data, and we spoke, uh, we researched with the U.S. Department of Education. It turns out that it's a very rare rate. You only see it in a handful of schools of its size in the nation, and most of them are juvenile justice systems, uh, second chance schools, charter schools, but in a public school system of this size, it's extremely rare, and it's only one indicator, but obviously a very important one. And also with that kind of money being spent on those schools on Long Island. It you know, affects this is all of us. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Well, great job, Carolyn. We look Thank forward you, to Carolyn. the documentary. Thank you. And you can watch Carolyn's full documentary, 37% right now, on our website, cbsnewyork.com.